Hi, it's Mary from Old School Speech. I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to figure out your speech schedule using Google Forms and Sheets. I do have to preface this by saying that when I first started in the field, I asked the teachers to give me the three best times for their students to be out of the room. After a while, this didn't work, so I made a grid with possible speech times and asked them to mark out the times they didn't want me to have the students, or it wasn't okay for the students to be out of the room. After trying that this year, it didn't work at one of my schools, so I used Google Forms, transferred the responses to Google Sheets, and I have my schedule by asking them to give me the three best times for the students to be out of the room. Erin at Word of Mouth has a wonderful tutorial on how to use Google Calendar to make your therapy schedule. As you can see, she's got her schedule in Google Calendar. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get to this point. And I've actually used this um, at one of my schools and shared it with the principal. So when my schedule changes, she has the changes without me having to actually notify her. So, okay, so let's get to it. So let's figure out how to get to that point. This is a form, a Google form that I made. As you can see, it's got the title, it's got a brief instruction, a place for the teacher's name, and then it has the options for choice one, two, and three. Let's back up the bus and get to this point. In Google Drive, you're going to click on New, and you're going to come down to More, and click on Google Forms. Okay, you're going to click on Untitled Form and give it a title. I'm going to make this three. I'm going to put a brief description, what I want the teachers to do. Please choose the best three times for your students to be out of Brain for speech, language therapy. Okay, and for the first untitled question, I'm going to make that name, and then you're going to come over here and click short answer. Okay, if you come back up here, when you click on it, your title will be up there. I don't know if it really matters, but it just kind of bothered me that it wasn't up there. All right, so I've got the first. Um, I've got the name. If you come over here on the plus sign and add a question, my question one is going to be first choice. And I'm just going to have them make sure that they know to only choose one. Come over to multiple choice and click check boxes. And then I'm going to start putting in my times that they have for options. I would recommend starting with. Um, with your early mornings, putting a zero in front of it, and I'll show you why in just a minute. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to um, put just a few options down here. All right, so after I have all my options in, I'm going to click Duplicate. It's going to duplicate what I just put in because all, all of their choices are going to be the same times. I'm going to put in Second Choice. I'm going to duplicate again, and I'm going to put in third choice. One thing you can do with this, if you come up to color palette, you can change the color. Uh, if you come up, back up to color palette and click on the picture icon, you can change the background and just make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting to look at. Okay, so now that that's now I'm all set, so I'm going to hit send. I'm going to put in all their email addresses. I'm going to put in a subject, and then I'm going to put in a little bit more detailed instructions. Um, make sure, I would recommend that you put in a due date, otherwise you may be chasing a couple of the teachers around the school asking for their schedule, and that's a big holdup. Um, and then you're just going to click send, and that's all you have to do. Just wait for the responses to come in. 
All right, let's go back to this one that I had already made. As you can see, I've gotten six responses. So when I click on there, uh, this is kind of cool because you can see which time slots don't have any choices at all. So I thought that was kind of cool. When you come over here to the, um, the icon, the green icon, you can click on it and your um, sheets comes up. Okay, uh, this is why you want to put the zero in front so that it will be nice and tidy when you sort the columns. Another thing um, that I would suggest doing is for the afternoon times, make it military time. That way, so instead of 1 o'clock to 1.30, I've got 1300 to 1330. That will just make it nice and neat as well. All right, so you've got your worksheet. You are just going to highlight. You can just highlight all of it if you want. Um, you don't have to just highlight just, just this part. And then you're going to come up to data. You're going to go to sort range. Click on data has header row. That way it just makes it easier. You don't have to go back and look. Oh, it's column C I need. It just tells you what the header rows are called. And I want to sort for my first choice. And I'm going to click sort. Okay. And I actually already had it sorted. So, but anyway, so you can see um, it's, uh, it's chronologically ordered. So I can look and see, okay, for 8 o'clock to 8.30, Miss Smith and Miss Cooper both wanted the same time. If those students aren't appropriate to be in the same group, then I can go over and look at choice two. That's it. Um, if, uh, you know, courses, like I said, if more than one person wants a time slot and it's not appropriate, then you've just got to figure out who gets that time slot. Um, this made my scheduling so much easier, especially after being so frustrated when what I've used for years all of a sudden just didn't work. If you have any questions, please email me at tnslp29 at gmail.com or you can leave a comment on my blog post for me. I really hope that this helps and make sure you go visit Word of Mouth and look at this therapy schedule video because it is fantastic. I want to thank Erin again for sharing that with us. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Thanks.